What's, what's wrong with the Cowboys? <laughs> well, you know who I'm going to blame it on. Who's most to blame for the lack of big plays in the Cowboys offense? I'm blaming it on. Sean Lee. Sean Lee. It's his fault. <laughs> it's Sean Lee's fault. That's why they ain't got no big plays. That was mm. good to say. No, really. A am I, I wrong about that? Man, come on. Yeah. I blame the anthem protest. <laughs> if they had never protested, they had like 50, 50 big plays. 50 big plays. Mm. You know, I, I think it really comes down to the offensive line. Really. I mean, that's where it started at the beginning of the year, you know, with uh, Tyrod Smith being out. Um, Zach Martin was out. And they never got on pace. Go back to last year. When the Cowboys came out, they came out hot. And that offensive line was, they were crushing people. They were talking about, this is the best offensive line in football. They may be better, they may be better than the offensive line in the 90s when they won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I think that's crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, they had a great offensive line. And, and you, they gave up a couple of weeks ago eight sacks to the Atlanta Falcons. You know, uh, Dax Press got, got hit ten times. Mm -hmm. They've never got their running game on pace. They'll run good one week, then it's okay one week. Dak has no time in the pocket one week, and then sometimes he has time in the pocket. So they don't have a big play receiver. I mean, Des Brown is still a good receiver. And I say to me, you have to throw him open. I believe mm -hmm. that. Yep. But they need a guy that can go deep and really go and catch the ball. I mean, if Martavis Brown wants to get out of Pittsburgh one yep. day, maybe they take him there. Maybe. But I, I really believe that it starts with the offensive line. And a lot of people, you don't know those guys up front, but those guys up front are very, very important. The reason why the Cowboys lack big plays because they are a run-first football team. And when you're a run-first football team, it, you're not going to have guys going 50, 60 yards running the football. And, Skip, the thing is, they weren't explosive last year either. They don't have explosive. The two guys that they have that are explosive, Terrence Williams and Bryce Butler, they're not targeted enough so you can see their big play potential. Dez Bryant is basically an in-breaking and a jump ball guy. Jason Witten was never a big play tight end. He was a never stretched to field tight end. He's solid, great on third down, going to get you a lot of catches. He will move the chains. But he's not a big play receiver. Cole Beasley, is that what you think Cole Beasley is? He's another guy get you third downs. Skip, what they do, they're built to play action and then get you open that way. Because if you think about it, Dez is not running. Is, he's not going to get open by running the route. You have to have a great play action. You get one-on-one -on -one coverage, and then you throw him open. But as far as running routes, the intricacies of running the route tree, that's not where Dez is. So they don't have explosive players. You look at the Atlanta Falcons. They got Julio. Mohamed Sanu can go deep. They got Gabriel. If you look at Tom Brady, take Tom Brady at his absolute best. What do they have, Skip? They had Randy Moss to take the top off the coverage. They had Wes Walker work, working underneath. Now, Gronk can still give you big plays, but what did, they, what did Coach Belichick do? He went and traded for Brandon Cooks, who is a big, big play, play receiver. Yeah. Now they got Amendola, they got Hogan, they got all these backs. Uh, Philip Dorsett can fly. Yes, but they got guys that can stretch the field. Mm -hmm. They don't target Williams enough. They don't target Bryce Butler enough. Skip, if you think you're going to get a 50-yard completion when you only target a guy three times, you might get one of those. And we've seen Bryce Butler have a game, Skip, three catches, 77 yards, one of them is a 50-yard completion. But that's few and far between. They don't, they don't have explosive players. They're built to run the football, possess the ball. And so that's why you don't see the explosive plays. Mm -hmm. Since Zeke is the only guy that can give you a home run threat, I mean, Alfred Morris did have one run. I think he went 70 yards. I might have against the Rams or something. Uh, uh, yeah, but they lost. But other than that, Skip, don't, they don't have big play potential at the skill set position. And this is simple as that. Mm -hmm. So, quick point of order, since you guys continue to ridicule me about Sean Lee. <laughs> so, going into last Thursday night game, the, the uh, Sean Lee had been in the lineup for 22 games over the last year and a half, and the record had been 18 and four with Sean Lee playing defense for the Dallas Cowboys. Without him this year, they were 0 and 5 going into last Thursday night, and they won without him. And by the way, he is returning for the Giants game. So here we go. Now back to big play potential. Obviously, they miss Ezekiel Elliott. Who wouldn't? I think he's the best running back in football, though, I must admit. I thought Le'Veon was really good last night. He right. really impressed me. Right. He ran oh, hard. He'd been, he been, he been like that. I, I got it. I got it. I'm, a, I'm giving it up to Le'Veon just off last night because he ran hard and he caught hard last night. Say he's the best. So he's, Say he's the best. He's not the okay. best. Okay. <laughs> well, Zeke is. I mean, I, I've said that. I said it all last year. So, obviously, when you don't have that threat of play action, Tom Brady th thrives on play action. Aaron Rodgers thrives on play. They're really good at it, but you have to have some credible threat. And so far, Alfred Morris has not been that kind of a threat. So, back to your point. The, the most instructive play to me last Thursday night was the first third down. It was like third and nine. 
Dak drops back, and they, they showed an overhead shot on what was it on NBC or whatever it was um, on Thursday night. Was it NFL yeah. Network? Yeah, right yeah it was uh, NBC. Anyway, they show an overhead shot, and, and everybody is just covered like crazy. Like nobody can uncover, and Cole Beasley had two people on him because that's what's happened this year. Everybody said, we're, we're going to take that away, your little security blanket underneath, right. your little Wes Welker. We're just going to take him away. And look at what's happened to, to – Poor Cole Beasley's production. At this point last year, through 12 games, he had caught 60 balls. He's now caught 30 balls. Guess what? The defense just said, no, you can't have him because we will put our best corner, most of the time, even though Washington didn't even try to flip-flop. Josh, he, he didn't travel with, with Dez. Dez at all, Josh Norman. No. And they would have Breland on him. So w what happened to Dez Bryant the other night? He actually made a couple of big plays. What were they? A 13-yard fade route for a touchdown, which he just went Jump up and ball. snatched. Ball. Exactly. Right? And then he got a 17-yard pass interference. Are those explosive plays? Are those what you'd call big plays, 25 yards plus? No. They're just Des plays. Right. They're, they're fade routes in the yeah. end zone, okay? So that's all you got left. I, I don't know what Terrence Williams is doing. He's just sort of a shell of himself. His production is way down. And you know how much I've said this all year. I love Bryce Butler because he's the one guy who can run past people. They just can't play him because the owner loves Des Bryant. Des is making whatever that contract yeah. is, you know. And and how do you get Bryce Butler on the field? He he got one pass the other night, and, and he was basically just a little down and out, and he was covered, and Dak threw it out of bounds. Yeah. So he got one target, no catch. <laughs> really? And and he's averaging 20.5 yards a catch this year. Well, you got to throw it to him. Remember Arizona? Yeah. Did Dak not make two big plays right. in that game, both but, to Bryce but Butler? Skip, if you look at the Cowboys last year when they had Zeke, they weren't getting – they were possessing the ball. They, and they, with, they and, weren't getting chunked. Right, right. exactly. I agree. So, I agree. And they don't, draft, they don't draft players because – and the, the reason why Dak doesn't throw the ball down the field, Skip, is because they told him, God, Dak, we're good enough. We're going to run the ball. Hey, take Cole Beasley, short, easy throws. He's going to move the chains. We're going to stay on the field. Yep. We're going to keep our defense off the field. So he's not going to force the ball. Yep. He started forcing the ball to Dez, trying to go down the field. What happened? Pick, pick, pick. pick. Mm -hmm. So – and Dez is not Dez is not a deep threat receiver. He's not like AJ Green and some of these other guys that can get deep in a hurry. That's not who he is. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.